Good morning. I am Josina Kameling, Head of Regulatory Outreach for CFA Institute, and I'm in Paris for the sixth edition of the Global Prize uh, for Ethics and Finance. With me today are the two joint authors of the second prize, um, Friedem Bieber and Yuri Wiehoff, both from Germany, although studying and doing their PhDs in Switzerland. The title of their essay is The Ethical Challenge of Systemic Financial Distrust. And I was very taken with their opening citation from René Descartes, which uh, cites that it is prudent ne to never to trust completely those who have deceived before, which is a very interesting statement with which to start an essay on distrust. But gentlemen, what are your thoughts and um, for this essay? What were the, um, the reasons you wrote this and... Um, what are the main ideas you bring in it? Thank you for that question. We we really got into the topic, um, thinking primarily of the of the kind of philosophical literature on trust, where we where we realized that though trust is a big issue, there's been relatively little written on the issue of distrust. So we started thinking about what does it mean to to be deceived by somebody? What does it mean to distrust somebody? And as we kind of went along doing that, we developed different categories that then turned out to be really relevant and important for looking at the issue of financial systems and distrust in the system. Yeah, so in particular, we drew a distinction between reliability, trust, and distrust, where we said that... Um, when you trust someone, there's an expectation that someone will fail to meet a moral obligation. So it's an ethically charged notion, whereas reliability is not. And in the context of financial markets, um, we then diagnosed that in the context of the crisis, there was a loss of trust in the sense that there is an expectation that moral obligations people take the financial system to have are not going to be fulfilled. And so obviously what we then did in kind of the more empirical part of the essay is to look at the different ways in which people have been um, disappointed, let's say, in the aftermath of the financial crisis by the financial system, and then we developed different ways of maybe remedying these different problems that have developed. 